Looking forward to that. APS says their crews have been preparing for the summer with extreme temperatures heating up from now through early next week. And it's also monsoon season. News 11's Danielle Berg North gives us a behind the scenes look. We are here at Yuma APS Service Center, and you can see all the equipment the crews use to prepare for power emergencies and to help keep our electricity running during the hottest season of the year. Um, in the summertime, again, we keep our warehouse stocked full of parts, whether it's transformers, poles, wire, to make sure if there's an outage or an emergency, we're able to respond as quickly and safely as we can. APS shares that local crews are out all year round to monitor the lines and make sure they're in the best condition. We do physical uh, visual inspections on our equipment. But then we look to make repairs on that, whether it's the wires, the poles, a piece of equipment that looks aged. We have drones and robots that inspect our lines as well. We look for hot spots or damage, and then we have our crews proactively make those repairs so it doesn't happen overnight or sometime when it's less convenient to our customers. APS says weather related power emergencies happen when heat wears power equipment or with strong windy days. Yeah. As we watch the weather on KYMA and you see there's a wind alert coming, make sure we monitor you know, our umbrellas, the kiddie pools, the trampolines. Make sure they're tied down as best you can because sometimes that's what causes the outage. We get those toys or umbrellas or trampolines flying up in the air. They hit the power line and they cause outages and damage to our lines. The National Weather Service Phoenix issued heat alerts through Tuesday with extreme temperatures this holiday weekend. It's very typical to see wind speeds 20 to 25 mile per hour gusts. So there's a concern right there of fire weather conditions um, materializing during the holiday weekend given the hot and dry conditions that we expect. And with the expected winds and heat, APS encourages families to plan ahead and stay prepared with an emergency plan. Make sure you have an emergency kit with water, uh, batteries, if you can get a portable phone charger. Make sure you have all those phone numbers you need to reach out to. Uh, um, also make sure that you can get out your car out. Some folks, that's their electrical garage door openers, they don't know how to open their garage door manually. Like APS said, make sure to keep an emergency kit and water on hand and to stay prepared in case of an emergency. Reporting in Yuma, Danielle Burke North, News 11.